Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Colorado Rockies. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Kyle Freeland will be on the mound for the Rocks. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Now at the plate, Lorenzo Kane, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. For Milwaukee, the center fielder, Lorenzo Kane. First pitch on its way. And Be afternoon right. baseball on MLB Network is underway. First pitch, one o'clock. Hit the other way out toward right field. Blackman is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And look now at the batting order for the, the visiting right Milwaukee Brewers. Christian. Dero, what's the key for a road victory in this one? Well, Matty, you walk into this yard today and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that can work against you at times. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan and know that a mistake doubles leaving this yard. Digging in, Christian Yelich. Lifetime versus this arm. He's hitless in three at bats. Here comes the first pitch. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. Our game time temperature here to start play, a balmy 86 degrees at first pitch. Nope. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. You know, D-Roll, Patty Johnson, you know, decent strike zone, but isn't always super consistent. I think that's one of the things that irritates players and pitchers. Yeah, you're going to see a few glares, not only from the offensive guys, but maybe the guy on the mound as well. He needs to be a little bit more consistent. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Scorched to third. Arenado's got it in time to first, and there are two away. Batting third, the left fielder, number eight, Ryan Long. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in the left fielder, Ryan Braun. First offering on its way. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Now the 0-1. Oh, and he misses it. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. The Rockies coming up. We've got no score. Chase Anderson a right hander from the state of Texas is the man on the mound here. What's your take on him Dan. Hey Chase Anderson Matt a pretty good pitcher a really good control. He has a three pitch mix a fastball curveball and the straight changeup. His changeup has gotten better. As a matter of fact if he has that straight changeup it makes his 92 to 93 mile an hour fastball go. look that Warner much Rocky. better. If he's on you'll no know right early fielder. he'll be getting a Charlie. lot of quick outs. Here's Charlie it's Blackman there. now. They lead things off here in the bottom bottom half of the first and he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side and the throw on the first will take care of him so he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield one away with that here's a look at the Rockies lineup card for this one who are you focused on Dan Pleszak yeah keep an eye on Charlie Blackman I mean this guy is a career 300 hitter. you talk about consistent he delivers a good at bat and clutch hits basically every time he walks into the box. I love watching this guy. 
And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. His lifetime batting line against Chase Anderson. He's 0 for 5. First pitch of the at bat. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. That's what you want the guys at the top of the order to do. Set the table for the monsters. Three, four, five. No field, nice piece of hit. David. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Here's David Dahl as the first pitch to him is swung oh, on and missed for strike one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. A oh, break out the tape measure. That one is long gone. It's a two run homer for David Dahl as the Rockies have taken a two to nothing lead. Yeah he had the right idea trying to bust him inside but that pitch caught too much of the plate and he took it deep for a two run homer. That was a nice swing of the bat. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Now that ball is smoked. Carrying to deep left. Big dogs got to eat. Nolan Arenado touches them all. And the Rockies have now taken a 3 to nothing lead. That wasn't a particularly deep home run by today's standards, but it certainly did scream out of the park in a hurry. You see there on show track, an impressive 112 miles an hour off the bat. Here's Daniel Murphy now. The first baseman, Daniel. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit back up the middle. Played on the backhand. And there are two away now. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate Ryan. him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And Ryan McMahon digs into bat next. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Hey, this pitcher better make an adjustment. That's a lot of loud contact. That's four That's bullets seven. in the first the inning fielder. to open up this game. Rival. In now, Rymel Tapia. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away.
Here's the 0-1. Back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, Got kept his hands inside the, the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. That'll bring up Tony Walters. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. From the stretch. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line in right, but this is going to wind up out of play. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Line to the right side. Yelich will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. up and the 0-2 pitch swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one all right guys so here's how the Colorado Rockies set up defensively that and let me it. tell you about outfielder Chuck Nasty Charlie Blackman one of the best in the business out there covering a ton of room in the outfield gap to gap with one of the most accurate arms in the game Mike Moustakis now. Open stance by Moustakis and now the pitch. Fouled away. Here comes the 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. comes another 0 2 good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one another 0 and 2 coming and it's fouled away the 0 2 once more is a fastball down below the knees. One and two. The one two. Fouled off. The one two. And another foul ball. I didn't realize the pitcher and the hitter were being so charitable today, giving away seven free souvenirs to the fans. This is one of those epic at bats. Everyone wins. Fastball, and he's got to duck away for dear life there.
And now this will be the tenth pitch of the at bat. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Mm, definitely had the distance but it winds up a foul ball. And he finally puts him away here as he strikes him out after an 11 pitch at bat. Batting fifth. So coming to the plate is Monty Grandal in his career versus this pitcher. He's hitless in three at bats. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and missed. You know, when you're facing a top of the line pitcher like this, he's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not. The key is punishing whatever mistakes he makes, but so far he hasn't made many. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. That's in there and he's deep in the hole now 0 and 2. I mean the obvious key right now is the movement on his two seamer. He's able to spot it up in when he has to and he's able to go back door. Two out nobody on. Line towards center field. Tapia is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Gone in order of the Brewers. Still down three nothing. Standing in Kyle Freeland. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. One of the keys to securing the win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Line drive to center field. Kane is right there one down. So right here's how the Brewers Number are positioned 19. defensively. Charlie. And let's take a look at one of the most Plus dynamic man. infielders in our sport. And that's Orlando Arcia playing up the middle shortstop premium position cannon arm highlight reel plays the ability to make the routine one as well. The bat will continue to get better. In now for Colorado Charlie Blackman. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lifted the other way out to left center. Braun has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batting, the shortstop, Trevor Story. So bases are empty here with two gone and in to hit next the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. First pitch of the at bat. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. The 0 1 on its way. There's a line drive base hit to left field. Wow and the hits just keep the piling up for them. The left Take fielder. a look at the numbers here. David. That's already six hits no. and we're only in the second inning. We'll see if they can keep this up as the innings go on. So a runner at first with two away and into bat next will be the outfielder David Dahl. In the last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. First pitch coming. Here it is. Liner toward right center. And that'll get down for a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. And we take a look at the line right here, and it's now not bad. pretty. He's the given up baseman. seven hits, and no we're way. only in the second All inning. Right, so what if three things is going to happen? He's either going to buckle down and start hitting his spots. He's going to continue to get shelled. Our game is going to last about five hours. Or he's going to get the hook early and head for the showers. Here's Nolan Arenado as he swings and grabs it toward the hole. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. 
And another runs across as this is now a 4 nothing ball game. You know, that's sort of a tough one since it's only the second inning. But I think it's about knowing your pitcher and how they respond. He's had some struggles here, so I think he's just reminding him to let those go and focus on the next batter. Into the box now, Daniel Murphy. He's 0-for-1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. But that'll be off the wall in right center. He pulls into third safely as a run will score on the play as well. The batter number 24. When this thing left the bat, I thought it had three run Ryan. homer written all over it. Mid but it bounces off the wall, so only one run scores. And now a chance for his buddy to return the favor and bring in one or maybe two. Now the Brewers manager's up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart early here this afternoon as he just never got into any kind of groove out there. Adrian Hauser please. is going to come on in relief now, now and he may be Brewers. asked to eat several innings as this game is just still Adrian really getting underway. Hauser. Here's Ryan McMahon now. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt. Down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. Here's the first pitch to him. Skied into straightaway right. Yelich on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We played two full. It's the Rockies five and the Brewers nothing. Stepping into the box, Eric Thames. He's the number seven hitter, but Brewers. he's leading off the third the after the first six seven. guys in the lineup Eric. have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Here comes the first pitch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. The wind up and the 0 1. Zero. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 2. The MO of this pitcher in the early going is certainly establishing the inside part of the plate. He has been dominant. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat if a guy can effectively, consistently pitch inside like he is. And he fouls this one off. The 0 2 once more. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're Try trying for a swing and miss when the you throw that pitch in a two Orlando strike count, but clearly he up. wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. Settling in now, Orlando Arcia. His prior history versus this arm. He's 0 for 4. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Arcia, just 24 years of age. He's in his third season as a major league player. Now the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. 
Batting none. If the you've got a good fastball seven. going and they're not handling, Adrian. keep throwing Houser. it right there. Three fastballs in a row. He gone. So now the Brewers pitcher, Adrian Hauser. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Well behind that fastball it's a swinging strike. Yeah Matty he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. A one count here's the pitch. Fouled away. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Down the first. Oh, and it's off the first base bag. But that finds its way through for a base hit. Running hard, he's digging for second. Around second, he's on his way to third. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't the see very field. often. Wow, it looked like he was carrying a piano around the bases on that one. But somehow he makes it all the way around the third for a triple. Give credit where credit is due. Nobody in the park, including me, thought he had that in him. In now is Lorenzo Cain. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. That's back to back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot. 0 and 2. Let's see if he can battle back in this AB. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. No damage done after the two out triple. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said forcing the opposing starter out of the game before the third inning and posting a bunch of runs right out of the gate was huge for them from a confidence standpoint and for their outlook moving forward in this game. The key now is keeping their foot on the gas pedal, Matt. Thank you, Heidi. Now at the plate, Rymel Tapia. He reached on a single in his first try. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. The wind up and the 0-1. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Hauser. Playing here in his age 26 season. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Now another 0 2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Reined in. And the throw first is in time. One gone. The catcher number 14. Cody Walter. Now batting Tony Walters. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on its way. Pulled toward right center field. Yelich is after it. He gets there, and that's the second out. The pitcher, number 21, Kyle 
pretty well. So bases are empty here with two gone. Up next, the Denver area native pitcher Kyle Freeland. First offering on its way. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to uh, break out the tape measure. That one is long gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Yeah, after this blast, the third home run of the game, you could see why this place is known as a launching pad. Balls leave this place in a hurry. So I would be surprised if we see more before this thing is over. Standing in now, Charlie Blackman. So he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Here's the 0-1. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through for this first base hit in this one. You know who's the happiest man now in the him. building right now? That's his stop. starting pitcher. He's Trevor. got a big old smile on his face. Sorry. He knows he has a six-run lead here in the early going to work with. You can't let that take away your edge, though. Digging in once again, Trevor Story. He singled his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. Line towards center field. Kane will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. But the Rockies add one more to their lead and it comes via the solo dinger. We played three full and this is now a six nothing ball game. In is Christian Yelich. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early going. So what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Hey, I'm surprised he went to that spot in his own. This guy's known for being a down and in hitter. Don't expect too many pitches going in that spot. The 0 and 1 delivery. Now a strike called in the upper part of the zone. There's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. Well he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right Up there. The he had to stare down a really good hitter and instead of working Ryan. around the zone he Roll. challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Here's Ryan Braun now. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And a big swing there by Braun, but he comes up empty. No balls and two strikes. Pretty late with the swing there. As a pitcher, you have to recognize that and keep coming in with the hard stuff until he proves he can hit it. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about now seven it. Ks, and we're just 18. in the middle innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. Striding in once again, number 18. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. 
Feel and that. that one swung on and missed 0 and 1. Not an easy thing to do to fill up the strike zone and be successful doing it. How about this guy so far in this one? 100%. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They still find themselves down 6 zip. To a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. First pitch on its way. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Braun on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The batter, the third baseman, Nolan Arandado. So digging in now, Nolan Arenado. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a drive. Now to get that one, you'll need a 50-foot ladder to make the catch. A no-doubt home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center, his second of the game, as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Well, they've got the elevate and celebrate thing working in this one, guys. That was their fourth big fly of the game. Dero, I don't know what you think, but this is one of those cases where I think the hitters right now, they must be seeing beach balls up there right now with four bombs already in this one. Yeah, this lineup from top to bottom has power just oozing out of it. And this guy's missing over the heart of the plate. That's what happens. A hit and two tries for him so far. Swing, and this is also hit well. Out to deep center. Yeah. A solo shot there for Daniel Murphy as they've widened this lead to eight now. As he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. He's working on a one for two game so far. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And that's down into left center for a base hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulders square, his hands inside the, the baseball, and was able to fight off right a ball. good, nice executed Stop pitch for a knock. Into the box now, Rymel Tapia. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Under it is Kane, and there are two away now. The catcher number 14, Cody Walter. Striding in for the Rockies, Tony Walters, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. A 
pause and the 0-2. And it's fouled away. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. The next 0-2. Lifted the other way to left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Another good inning for the Rockies, and Blake Street might be beckoning for one or two of this bunch. More ahead from Denver right after this. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with Craig Council, the Brewers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and he mentioned they need to show a lot more patience with their at-bats moving forward. He told me that they've been way too aggressive on the first pitch of the at-bat, and while he doesn't necessarily condemn that if it's leading to hits, that's clearly not the case right now. Over 80% of their at-bats have started with a swing on the first pitch, and a lot of those have resulted in swinging misses or outs, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Bye. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. Hit in the air to right field. Therefore, it is Blackman, and he's got it for the first out. Now batting. The catcher. A look at our line score here through the first four, and as we've mentioned, just one hit for these guys this afternoon. Yasmani Grandal hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Called strike at the letters, 0 and 1. He signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to the get to know them is to seven. go out and produce. Eric. So he sets him down swinging. Yosmani Grandal goes down for out number two in the top half. In now, Eric Thames. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0. It's a nope. fastball that misses. Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and he's got a real good count at 2 0. Two Zero. balls and a strike. Whoa. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. He's been throwing strikes all day, so you're not up at the plate thinking he's going to walk you in this situation. You need to be aggressive and sit hard at the plate. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Hey, this offense needs to check themselves right now. They have to find a way to get somebody on base and get this guy out of the stretch and make him a little bit uncomfortable. I mean, they're one strike away from being shut out for five. Another full count offering on its way. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Gone in order are the Brewers. They're on the short end of an 8 nothing score.
trying to pick things up where we left off. Where go? Freeland where as we move past the halfway the point in this one and begin Style. the bottom of the fifth. Where he last at that when he went deep. He turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out. Try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Yelich is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track the for right the first fielder, out. Number 19, Charlie Blackman. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Charlie Blackman. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Oh and one here it comes. Swing line drive that's going to be trouble. On his way to second is Blackman. Hey they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of the baseball season. Bottom line is this guy has bat to ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Striding in Trevor Story. He lined out in his last trip so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah Matty but as he walks to the plate right here he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. First offering on its way. Now a hard liner. count and the pitch to the left side but it's well fouled. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner if it stays fair it's gone and this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball and it'll hold the count at 0 and 2. Slung on, but it's pulled foul wide at third. Ready with another 0 2. Swing and a drive. Now, to get that one, you'll need a 50 foot ladder to make the catch. Trevor Story with a two run shot as the blowout continues. Now that ball was an absolute tape measure blast. Probably one of the farthest home runs you'll see all season. And as show track tells us, it was projected at exactly 450 feet. That's one that'll make the highlight shows later on for sure. Now Stepping in now, David Dahl. David. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's two for three and looking for more here. Oh, break out the tape measure. That one is long gone. A 
a solo home run there for David Dahl. His second home run of the game as they just continue to pour it on here. I'm excited to check the home run numbers that come out on show track because that was just one of the most impressive launches we've seen in a good while. And as the numbers come in, that ball was projected to have carried over 460 feet. An amazing show of strength. Now batting. Into the box, Nolan Arenado. Nolan. A look at a hot shot to third, and there are two away. Up next for Colorado, the first baseman, Daniel Murphy. Standing in now, Daniel Murphy. As he will swing at the first pitch and line this one into left center and that's going to get down for extra bases. And he is in the second base with a double his third hit this afternoon. The batter number Man, I don't think he could have bisected second those fielders base, any better if he Fire. tried. Drove that one into the Mitch alley for man. a gapper that will bring him easily into second base. Ready for another chance. Ryan McMahon, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line toward right center. Boy, and call off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run comes Next across to score. Hey, the hero, field. there's a prime example of a little ambush piece, right? Come Three up there looking off. to hit right off the get-go. First pitch comes in, whack, base hit. Yeah, you want to know if this guy was ready to go? He had a game plan. Hashtag ambush. Here we go now. In now, Rymel Tapia. As he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh, one, here's the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Kane is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Rockies are out in front, 12 to nothing. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Tapia. Makes the play one away. The pitcher, number 37, Adrian Hauser. Hernan Perez will get the call Nick here as he'll hit for, for the pitcher. Number 14, Hernan Perez. Strike taken up in the zone. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Outside for a ball, one and one.
ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, 1-2 one. Yeah. One now as this catches the outer half. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll the tell you, fielder. he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Lorenzo Kane. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Grounded foul off to the right side. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Fastball called for strike two. Hey, we have to commend them right here. One out away from grinding through six strong innings against one of the better lineups in the game. Ball. Slider, good two strike pitch, but it misses one and two. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. Just about given up for dead. It's 12 to nothing.